What's going on you guys? So another Dell Inspiron 3650. Gonna be upgrades. So it's got a video card, GTX 1650, uh, used CPU. This is i7-6700. Uh, RAM, DDR3L, and uh, 512 gig of solid state drive. This is a Samsung. So for all of this, uh, so basically new video card, new solid state drive, and new RAM. And one used CPU. The total cost for the just for the parts is over four hundred dollars here in the United States. So move that aside. So you need a Phillips head screwdriver, and I'll remove the two screws in the back. You need a sliding side cover panel left. And before you do that, you have to remove the front cover uh, clips. And this, before you're gonna slide, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the screw here. This screw also, what it does, it holds the three and a half inch hard drive caddy, the metal one right here. And the way you do it is just gonna plug the SATA power cable comes out so it's got two screws on each side and it's got a 256 gig solid state drive in here I'm gonna upgrade to five 512 gigs so there are two screws on each side you have to remove Stuff like this. And I'm gonna disconnect uh let's take out another two screws here on the side. Okay, so what I'll do is, I'll zoom in the camera, put this up. The same size, two and a half inch. Oh, well, it's going this way, I forgot. And so but don't forget that it's gonna be facing, setting power connection, they're going this way. But they do sell another Dell, this three and a half to two and a half inch caddy. You can buy a plastic one. Uh, there you can also install both, either one hard drive and one solid state drive. I'll put a link in the description, you guys can buy it. to align it see it like this okay
Okay. Now what we'll do is I'm gonna install it back. But if you guys have a question is if you gotta install one and three and a half inch hard drive here, then what you have to do is they also sell this plastic caddy that you can install two and a half inch solid state drive. So you have three and a half inch and two and a half inch here. You can do that. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna remove the CPU's heatsink cooler. And the CPU install here, guys, is a uh, i3-6100. It looks like the camera is like flashing, goes bright and low and high. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I'm not gonna retake the video. So, so you're gonna take a paper towel, wipe it off. Also, wipe this off from the, the side. Now, you have to take uh, rubbing alcohol. This is 91%. You have to be really careful, don't put too much. And you're gonna, away from the PC also, I wanna get it inside. Just like that, perfectly fine. So I'm gonna wait till it dries out quickly. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the i7 CPU. I'm gonna show you guys, give them a zoom in, let's see. Okay, yeah, so it's a i7-6700 CPU gonna upgrade. So you're gonna take a clip right here, just go with your finger like this, lift this up, and gently pull it out. And the way you're gonna install it, you see the corner one left, one right, that's the way you're gonna install it. It goes just the same way you see it, that's the way you install it. I'm gonna wipe this one also, your CPU. Before I do that, guys, I'm gonna upgrade the RAM quickly. So I'm gonna make a total of 16 gigs of RAM, eight gig per each slot, uh, dual channel. Thermal compound, I'm gonna using the Cooler Master. I'll apply a little more.
good enough. I'll move this back. And make sure you connect. So this, basically this is an 80 millimeter fan, four pin, four wire, same as the backside rear system fan is a four pin, four wire, 80 millimeter fan. You're gonna connect it back to the motherboard. Using guys uh, left hand because if I start using right hand, you guys would be blocking the view, so you cannot see really well. the CPU back in here. And be the last part guys, it'll be the video card. Also, I need uh, pliers. So see, here's the PCI Express times one. I'm doing installer here in the middle one. This one is PCI Express times 16. It's got a uh, using two slots, so we have to remove another PCI bracket here. And I can't remove it. I have to use the pliers. Let me get that. Take it off. Let's mount the case. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna lift this up like this so you can see better. installed it's complete so what I would do is I'll close this up and it does have another two SATA ports here you can see that right here so you can still install two more uh, either hard drive solid state drive for extra storage you can do that yes Pretty solid machine for with i7 CPU. And don't forget to install screw here. And side cover panel. Show you guys the back side quick. <clears throat> this is how it's gonna look like. The video card is installed. See you guys at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.